Corps of Engineers is serious about maximizing the opportunities for small business, a message delivered by the Nashville District Commander during the 5th Annual Small Business Forum at Tennessee State University, March 17, 2016. Almost 70% of the Nashville District budget went to small businesses last year, fiscal year 2015. So $72 million. We do a lot of small business. And the goals that the Corps of Engineers headquarters has given us for fiscal year 2016 are just as aggressive as they were last year. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Nashville District, Tennessee State University Small Business Development Center, and University of Tennessee Procurement Technical Assistance Center partnered to highlight women-owned business topics. The mayor of Nashville also spoke and touted that Music City was named by Wallet Hub as the best city for women entrepreneurs out of the 100 biggest metropolitan areas in the United States, a high mark and culture she intends to nurture to maintain and promote small business growth. One of the focuses that I've absolutely said about my own office is my office needs to reflect what Nashville looks like. So I've been very deliberate coming in and finding the most highly skilled, qualified, talented people who look like Nashville. That means that over 50% of my office is women, 28% of my office is African American, 8% is Latina, and 8% is LGBT. And you know what? That's what Nashville looks like. And as we continue to expand that, especially as it relates to our purchasing, I want Metro government to make sure that we are purchasing in that way as well. Because we need to support those small businesses, those women-owned businesses, those minority-owned businesses, and we have to do that and be deliberate about it. An impressive cast of women-owned small business experts presented information, including Margot Dorfman with the United States Women's Chamber of Commerce, who spoke about the federal marketplace, and Ann Sullivan, president of Madison Services Group, who provided legislative updates. The participants networked, asked questions, and interacted with federal contracting experts and attended panel discussions. It's meeting people that actually uh, are the gatekeepers for some of the contracts that you guys have is beneficial because now you put a name with a face and they say, hey, I may be able to help you because I have XYZ going on. The Nashville District Small Business Office Chief said a lot of businesses will benefit from the day's activities. And he's excited about the women-owned progress in the federal marketplace, especially given the recent expansion of North American industry classification system codes that gives women more opportunity with federal contracts and with construction projects. We're going to see some real construction projects being made available to women-owned small businesses, you know, especially because we're all at the core is all about construction. In the Nashville district, with us, everybody always asks me, how do you just, you know, what do you guys do? And I always tell them it's really very simple, in water, with water, and by water. If you touch water, you got a need for your service, supply, or construction services. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District at Tennessee State University in Nashville, Tennessee.